PGA Sports and the PGA Tour proud to bring you the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. We're at the Genesis Invitational. Today's coverage is just about to begin. Welcome to Hollywood in Los Angeles. I'm Luke Elvey alongside Rich Beam and we're here at one of the great golf courses on the PGA Tour, the Riviera Country Club. Oh, what about this place? Well, you said one of the great. No, 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 no. Look, this is the best course they play on tour all year long. By a country mile. This is my favorite golf course from the moment I park my car in the parking lot and I walk into the men's locker room. I see the old faces, old friends. I get to walk along the wall of champions, the pictures, Ben Hogan, all the iconic winners around this famed club. I can't get enough of it. I am the happiest I've ever been when I set foot here. And when I leave, I'm so sad. I love this golf course, everything about it. There's not a easy, straightforward shot out there. The opening hole is the easiest one. But after that, put on your boots because it is about to get difficult. I find that all the players love this iconic venue and that's why it brings out the best. Everyone comes to Hollywood with a dream. What's your dream? Can't wait to get into the action. Very excited to see how this player fares today. Well, you love this player. Why wouldn't you wait to see how this player plays? You just you have a poster of this player at home, don't you? A two. Okay. Yeah. Wow, that's misjudged. Downhill putt and certainly was robbed on that effort. Well hold. He's currently tied for sixth. Let's see what happens here at the third hole. That one's heading down Broadway. John, what's going on? Talk to us, Goose. Well, we're going to hole number four. This is Patrick Cantley. Now just one over par. Currently tied for 10th place. Playing this shot from 120 yards. Yeah, nicely played. Oh, this will be good for the momentum. Let's make this birdie putt. Ouch, that hurts. An opportunity to make their par. Well, that hole's behind us. More to play. So no movement there. He stays at even with the card. Oh, we're at the par three here. I love these holes. Going with the hybrid. This one may come up just a tad short here. Second shot here on the fourth. Well played, mate. Spot the all-important top five awaits if we can hold this putt. That's well hold. And a spot in the top five also with that great shot. Let's go to our man John on the ground. There's something brewing down there. Let's find out what it is. More on the seventh hole now, guys. This is Ian Poulter's next shot. And this one's for par. And after that hole, this is how the leaderboard looks right now. It's time to step onto the tee here at the fifth.
Oh, well struck. This drive's heading for the fairway in my eyes. Well, I know that we're in the booth and not right up close to it, but it doesn't take a smart person to work out that's not a nice line. This putt is for a share of second. The old-fashioned hammer hands. That'll ruin any putter's stats. Now, nice to make a mid-range par putt. Just two shots back after that hole. The sixth hole at Riviera is one of the most famous par threes on the West Coast, Rich. An absolute beauty. It looks like a giant green donut with the bunker right in the center of the green, doesn't it? I love this hole. And now we head to the seventh where this happened just a moment ago. He's a long way away, but he's feeling it today. Let's return to live play now. Never seen a school car that doesn't look good with a two on it. Ooh, right by the hole. A tie for third spot on the leaderboard. Up for grabs if he can hold this. And after this hole, that's how it looks. Well, that's certainly a step in the right direction. Keep it going deep into the front nine. Here we are at the seventh hole. Nicely done. Even for the day. Currently tied third. Just a couple out of top spot. But not a bad approach. He'll be putting. This putt right on 12 feet to the hole. Oh, that's frustrating. Putting for par. And the putt drops, and we're moving on. And after that performance, they'll stay right where they are in the standings. We've reached the eighth hole. The tee is yours. Not sure if this one will stay on the short grass. This took place just a short time ago. Ian Poulter with an outstanding shot here. This is how you do it seven days a week. OK, let's get back to the action. Time for the second shot at the eighth. That's a little wayward. Missing it short there. They will definitely be upset. If he makes this, he'll save his par. Looking better. Is that a rush of blood? It's just about three feet away. Double bogey putt coming up here. And down it goes. Currently at two over par. Well, it's time to clear the mind of that double bogey. Step up onto the tee with a bit more confidence. Time for the second shot here at the ninth. Pretty sure that one's headed left. And he's not hit the mark on that approach. Now, coming out of the rough, missing the green was always in the cards. Oh, well played. Oh, a lovely opportunity to save par here. This is a bogey putt coming up. And well hold. Let's move on. With that effort, now three over for the day. Unfortunately, backing up slowly but surely on that leaderboard, Luke.
One of the most often discussed holes in all of golf is the par 4 10th here at Riviera Ridge. There's so much strategy. It's either driver or three wood for every player in this field, but you better be good with distance because this green is very narrow. Yeah, well, it might not be on the green, but it's right up near the surface. Sometimes you hit some good ones, sometimes you hit some bad ones. That was wonderfully done. John, you're down there. What's happening? Down on the 11th. This is Sergio Garcia setting up his next shot. Oh, my. How about that for a par? Oh, trying to hit a little punch shot, and they do to perfection. What a shot indeed. 11 feet to the cup. This one's looking good. Oh, wonderful effort. Confirms the par. Trailing by six shots after that hole. Let's see what happens here at the 11th hole. Johnny Mack, what's the news? Well, guys, I'm down in the 12th hole as Sergio Garcia sets up his next shot. Let's get back to it, shall we? Let's hope this one gets a good lie because it's heading towards the rough. Getting ready to play their third. And this part to move into the top ten. Ooh. This putt's about four feet from the hole. Well done. The leader now has a one-stroke advantage. Quite often the hardest hole in golf, a long par four. This tournament's coming alive. I wonder what just went down. And let's take a look at this shot from just a moment ago. Ian Poulter comes up with a beauty here. And back to the course with the live action. Sitting at three over par. Looks to be going with a hybrid here. That's an absolute ripper. What a shot. Oh, just missed. He's got a par putt here. Let's see if he can make it. And that putt will drop. Well done. He's currently tied for 14th. Teeing off here on the 13th hole. That should find the fairway. Looks to have opted for the 8-iron. A wonderful shot. A chance for Birdie here on the 13th. Oh, so close. You can make this one. It's for par. Okay, let's head to the next. Sitting at three over for the event. And after that good play, moving up the leaderboard.
It's time to tee off here at the 14th hole. And choosing the eight iron here. That was never really a comfortable shot for them, was it? Coming up a little short with that effort. Not bad, though. Oh, this is a long way from downtown, but you're closer. John, what's he got in front of him? This has got to be a strong 40 feet to the, to the cup from here. This would be a great up and down. That dog will hunt. Let's see if he can make this. And keep the par on the card. And down it goes. Let's head to the next. Now four back after that hole. Let's see what happens here on the 15th. Well, I like the look of the line here. It should find the fairway. Not a bad approach. Grab the putter from the caddy. You're dancing. Oh, good look at birdie here. Just didn't drop. Pretty straightforward four-footer coming up here. It was on a good line. And this one will be for bogey. Let's take a look at the leaderboard. Sitting at four over for the day. And moving down the leaderboard as well. The 16th at Riviera Ridge is the last chance to get amongst the birdies on a par three. A breathtaking short par three, 166, an island green surrounded by bunkers. John, what's going on out there? I'm over on the 17th hole. This is Patrick Cantley. More chance to sneak inside. Top 20 in the standings here with this putt. Oh, what a shame. That would have been a nice one to hole. And that brings to an end that hole. Now five strokes behind. The last genuine scoring hole at Riviera is certainly this par 5 17th. Any hopes of getting it home in two, you better come up with something special off the tee and make sure to avoid the bunker on the right-hand side. Well, you're going to need to think of your second shot already because that one's beached. And this from Sergio Garcia just a short while ago. Third shot now. Never easy playing out of those fairway bunkers. Keep your focus. That's it, it's okay. From around 140 yards here, five strokes behind our leader. Mm, maybe needed a better club from the caddy. It's a bit strong this. Time now for the fourth shot. Five shots off the pace. Certainly makes putty easy if you can chip it that close. Yes, very smooth tempo there on that chip. I like their courage to be able to get that to go down and save the hole. Yeah, in the bunker, off the tee, great recovery. Our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. One of the most famous finishing holes on the PGA Tour, Rich. This 18th at Riviera is a classic. Aim for the palm trees in the distance, which are located just on the left-hand side of the green. A good tee shot there will set up an awesome looking second. That's not what they were looking for. And missing it long with that approach, not a good leave. Make this for a round of 75. Nice stroke. And with it, that concludes his event. And that'll do it for today. Great day all round, wouldn't you say, partner? Luke, always a pleasure, my friend. Until next time. Well, on behalf of myself, Rich Beam, and all the hardworking folks at HB Studios, thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.